All right, Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ha'akadash, to the honor, and to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, who are well, and that all is his truth. Salutations to all the Sisiachim out there that are doing work, you know, going out, drop sign a word into the nations, you know, and to wake up our people, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You know, we're not a bunch of bywords. You know, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, man. And we need to come back unto the Heavenly Father, knowing, you know, that this world is going down and we need to get right, man. You know, this is just what it is. So, saw a few uh, of a small clip of uh, Terminator 2, you know, Judgment Day. You know, I posted it, you know, back in the days, but um, was looking at uh, certain things, thinking about, you know, meditating upon certain things. And um, yeah, man, the judgment is coming, man. It's right here. You know, you see this world is falling and its people is waxing worse. Even people in Israel that claim to be brethren, prophesying, uh, you know, the truth, they wax and worse and worse, man, going against the elders, you know, the apostles and elders and the great uh, the and the elder bishops of Great Millstone, you know, that are teaching this truth, you know. They forgot who they learned from, man, and to their pride, you know, they will be destroyed, man, if they don't repent because the Lord, he hates pride, man. So, I just wanted to uh, jump into, um, and also these, these scoffers uh, that are, you know, emboldened to come on the common boards and on the highways and hedges and, you know, other their, uh, you know, their futile rants and all that. It's only to your own destruction, man. You don't know who you're messing with. You know, so... Let me go to, uh, let me start off with uh, Luke 17. I have a few scriptures. Yara, this is going to be short and uh, to the point, you know, like the elder brother of the bar also often say, and also the, uh, the, the elders, you know, but it is what it is. I'm trying to make this uh, quick so you can digest it quick and meditate upon it. That's basically the point. But Luke 17 verse 1, then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him to whom they come. So offenses will come, man. People will talk nonsense. But hey, it would be it would be better for him that a millstone or her. Because these, these females be talking a lot of crap as well, man. Look at that video. You hear that uh, loud scream? Well, that will be the enemies of Yahweh Shai. That... And some of y'all, you know, <laughs> some of y'all have a vagina. You're your females. A woman is a servant unto her husband, a helper to her husband that accepts the, the, the scriptures. Like in uh, 1 Corinthians 1, that's like 1 Corinthians uh, the 11th chapter, that the man is above the woman and that, you know, plays her part. So... Y'all gonna get judged too, man. It would be better for him or her that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea that than that he should offend one of these little ones because y'all female scoffing uh, and doing your thing as well, man. You know? Second Peter 3, verse 3, knowing this first, you know, for the, you see the title, the sub, the coming day of the Lord. And we are, you know, uh, hastening the day, man. Hastening the day. Desiring earnestly. The word hasten goes into desire earnestly. And, you know, that is what we want. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lust. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So these people be like, oh, man, things been going on like this, you know. But you need to know that the Most High works everything uh, in his own time. When he sees fit, the prophecy will come to pass, you know. Let me go to the book of Habakkuk.
chapter 2, and verse, um, let me go to the point, verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. It is not according to your will, but according to the will of the Lord. And in the right moment, his works, his uh, words will become, um, you know, true works in the form of prophecies coming to pass. You will see the signs and the effects will, it will they will be clear, man, for the ones who have eyes to see. And even these, these, these heathens, you know, these, these carnal people of Israel also, they see that the world is, uh, is getting bad, it's getting worse. Worse and worse, it's going downhill, man. But hey, that's all prophecy, man. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah on steroids, man. So here, it goes uh, to appointed, uh, appointed place, appointed time meeting, and appointed sign or signal. And also, it goes into, um, let me read a little bit in the Strong's definitions. Here it is, properly an appointment, i.e. fixed time or season, you know? That's what it is. It goes in especially a festival, con conventionally in a year, but it's a fixed time or season. That's what it is. Also a signal as appointment beforehand, appointed sign time, you know, so do appointed due season in due season the prophecy will be you know uh, realized man so for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie it will speak man it will come to pass you will see it you will hear it and you will be caught up into it you know if you keep on scoffing and these missiles drop they got an, you know a few names that these scoffers carry, you know that these scoffers have been given, and you you're going to be connected to one of these uh, warheads, man. So though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So the prophecies will be they will be happening, man, and they will meet you. And if you keep on talking nonsense, the most I will melt you, man. And that's also in the book of Ezekiel 21. Let me go into that as well. Let me first go to um, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8. So, let me just let this go. And so I can type better. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 8. Let me start at 7. For Yahweh had not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. You know, being clean, set apart, you know, for a specific uh, duty, man. To worship Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, to have faith in Him. You know, to do this in sincerity and truth, pushing out the truth, you know, worshiping Him only. Yahweh, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai. Because if you don't, if you deny the, fi uh, the, 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 the Father, or you deny the sun, you don't have to follow. And the fire is waiting for you, man. Or chief of wild beasts or special judgment that the most has, you know, handpicked for you to perish by, man. That's basically what it is. Um, he, therefore, that despises, despises not man, but Yahweh, who had also given unto his, his Holy Spirit. So, like, who had also given unto us his Holy Spirit. And the ones that obey and get the Spirit, man. Acts 5 and uh, 32. So, to go to Ezekiel 21, let me jump a little bit down. <clears throat> to the point. Let me see. Oh, Ezekiel 22. And let me jump all the way to um, verse 19. Let me start at 17. Because a lot of our people, 
You know, they want to be stuck on that wickedness. This is what the Lord said. So Ezekiel 22 and 17, and the word of the Lord, Yahweh came unto me saying, Son of man, the house of Israel has become, so like it is to me become dross. All day, all day are brass and thin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. And all these things melt. They are even the dross of silver. And if you have uh, uh, like gold or silver, and it contains dross. Dross is the impurities that need to be getting that you need to get rid of. Let me see here the dross. It goes into a moving back, you know, backsliding dollars. You're going off. Dross usually of silver, and here it goes into in the sense of refuse, scoria, dross. You know, refuse is the the um, uh, the filth. see refuse it goes into um well, yeah <laughs> something that you refuse is you know you, you don't want to deal with it man so if you are refuse it's to indicate unwillingness to do accept give or allow you know that goes into refusing something and if you have that uh if you're liking it to that you have that mindset you know backsliding you know you are Contrary to what the Most High, His will is. You know, so, and here it goes into items or material discarded or rejected as useless or worthless trash or rubbish. And that's what it is, man. Again. And it goes in also into anything thrown away, waste, rubbish. So it's not a good thing. So let me go on. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, because ye are all become dross, behold, therefore I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it. So will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. You're going to be melted, man. The Most High will destroy two-thirds of his people that refuse, you know, <laughs> to re that refuse to listen. That is what's going to happen. That fire will melt off all the wickedness, all the impurities, all the, the things that offend. That is what it is, man. You will become... Like uh, 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 like ashes to so thermal nuclear fire. ICBMs, miss, ICBM missiles will be shut off, and they will hit the targets. They won't miss, and the most I don't miss, man. The most I won't miss. So if you don't stay upon the Lord, and you don't believe in Him, you don't make Him your strong stay, your 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 place of refuge. Then you're on this uh, people's side, man, and they will be destroyed as well. And you know what they do? They serve Satan, man. Especially if you go to the head tribe of them, the Amalekites. They all about Baphomet. That's why you see Baphomet is the, you know goes into the golden menace. It goes into male and female in one body. That's why you see this this, this transgender, you know, transformerism all up in their governments in their um uh, you know in their uh societies you see it man more and more of these morons you know are claiming that children can be you know 12 years old or younger and decide for themselves to be treated with all types of hormones that turns them into you know a deformed abomination in the eyes of the lord Oh, he, he can be two genders or three, four, whatever genders. This is BS, man. Male and female created he them. You're either male or female. That's what it is. It's very easy. You have a, a rod in, the, in your testicles. You're a man. You know, you have uh, the X and I chromosomes. And, or you're the opposite. 
a female with a vagina, whether you have small breasts or, 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 you know, or big, you have a certain structure, bone structure, and chromosomes that make you a, fe a female. That's what it is, man. That's that, and even this goes into uh, a cross-dresser, the Statue of Liberty. So, as the judges, so are his people, so are his officers, and so will the people of the city be, you know, Sirach 10. But destruction is coming, the lake of fire, America will be meet with ICBM missiles that will be so, it will be so many shut off to America that it will be a lake of fire, man. That's what it is going to be for the people who go against the Lord and the elect will be beamed up out of there. So, back in this, uh, Ezekiel 22 and 21, yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath, and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. Hey, the word melt, this is mentioned multiple times, man. Watch out, man. Yeah, I will gather you and blow upon, and also for me, <laughs> you know. I'm not accounted myself to have attained, you know, the, the, the salvation of the Lord. I'm not there. When the day is there, and I make it, and the Lord, you know, Yahweh Tazah gives me a crown. Yahweh Tazah, man. Yahweh Tazah, Lord willing. Then I will be like, okay, I made it. Other than that, I'm doing my best. Yahweh Tazah, man. I can, do, I can do, even do more, man. I, I should do more. But yeah, I will gather you and blow upon you in the fire of my wrath. And ye shall be melted in the midst thereof. As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I, the Lord Yahweh, have poured out my fury upon you. And the Most High ain't playing with no one, especially if you go against them. Zechariah, I'm going to Zechariah 14. Let me start at Zechariah 8. I didn't pull this a long time, man. Let me see. Where is it again, man? This I see is a thing of repetition. It's 13 and... Uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's the spirit. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land in Babylon, America, said the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That is, uh, you know, 66.6%, .6%, man. But the third... You know, the 33.3 something something shall be left there. So one third shall be left. And I will bring the third part through the fire, you know, and, and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. And they, because the one third, they will be, uh, in the spiritual sense, will be refined. You know? But in actuality, if you go to, um, Salah, yeah. If you go to, uh, the, the point of the missiles, the elect shall be saved from it, man. God. So, the righteous will be refined, just like the book of Sirach says, man. You know, uh, in Sirach uh, chapter uh, 2, you know, that, that gold is tried in the fire, you know, purified in fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So, we go into the fire as well by going through some hell, man. They're going through situations wherein it requires faith, you know, uh, diligence, um, patience, you know, to endure. Because patience goes into, you know, you suffering, man. And endure goes into making hard, duro. So you need to become, you know, toughened up in the spirit and rely upon the Lord. Because if you go to hard times and the most I get you out of them, it will increase your faith. It will increase your uh, um, your faith in the Lord, man. Let me just keep it at that. So, but the other ones to continue in Zechariah 13. Let me start at 9 uh, from the top again. And I will bring the third part through the fire. 
and will refine them as silver is refined. You know, that purification process that we are in right now. We, you know, we're of that number, man. And we'll try them as gold is tried. And they, so like, they shall call on my name. And this is another cut to these people to say, Christ! They call upon Christ, man. We will call, for, as for me and my house, we, we will call upon the name of the Lord, man. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. That's part of prophecy, that the Most High will... You know, give us back our heritage, and it begins with his name. That's part of the heritage as well. The Lashon Kodesh, the ancient tongue, the the Paleo Hebrew shows you that it is different than the modern day Hebrew, which these you know Yasha Kashin and Russian, Deutsch and Swatson and all them, what these people are speaking in, uh, you know, these uh, small hat people have to be, you know, specifically. You know, addressing these people in a certain manner because, you know, or oh, else they shout anti Semitism. And that's another cut, but that's, you know, another video. Because when the Lord returns and put us back in our own land, He will subject, He will subdue all the enemies and have them subject, you know, to be subject unto uh, Yeshua. And they will not even dare to come against the Lord and His people, man. So all that uh, offense will be gone so the whole thing with anti-semitism is just another great token a great sign that they are not the people man because you, you shouldn't have you don't need that anti-semitism card if the lord truly puts you back in the in the land and you are truly the people but let me go on they shall call on my name and that's another thing that these damn small ass people don't do they don't even believe, man. The most of them don't even believe in the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. And I will hear them, you know, the true people, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who believe in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. I will say it is my people because the most of them will never, uh, you know, uh, be down with people that are wicked. The most of them all righteous. But yet his people will be forever wicked. Because that is what, what you're saying if you say that these small high people are the, are the people of the Lord. Because they are the wicked. And they shall say the, the, the Lord, your house is my power. So that's what's going to happen. But the other ones who refuse the Lord and refuse instruction to the men of the Lord, which is the Lord's mouth. This will happen. This is uh, Zechariah 14. Verse, uh, verse 12, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You see, so the people that fought against uh, uh, his people, you know, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And that is that, uh, that video. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. There you have it, man. That's nuclear destruction that will come towards this earth. So Revelation 20, verse 10, and the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone. And you know, all that, uh, all those missiles will be blasting off and destroy America where the beast and the false prophet are. And and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. It's going to be a long time. It's not going to be literally forever, but it's going to be a long time. Babylon's going to be destroyed, man. You know, and the beast, that Roman Empire that you see revived again, you know, ruled by Esau, that will be destroyed, man. His empire will fall. Everything with, with the, all the, the, the BS religion, everything will come down. Because the people that have been deceived into taking the MOTB, 
you know, down with the image of the beast, down with the image of image of this uh, uh, Edomite, his uh, his uh, system. They will be destroyed right along with it, man. Down with sodomy, uh, you know, pedophilia, all that, all the, all the bestiality, all types of filth. It will meet his maker. Esau will be destroyed. Two thirds of our people will be punished on this side. Different parts of the earth will be destroyed, will be uh, um, cleansed, because the earth abided forever. Let me see if can Ecclesiastes one and four. One generation passes away, and another generation coming, but the earth abided forever. So the earth won't blow up like an immortal combat fatality, you know. Like uh, you know, it was back in the day, but to be serious, the earth will abide forever. It will be cleansed off of the wickedness. You know, that is what's gonna happen. The earth let me see, let me go to Psalms 21, verse 8. Thy hand shall find out all thy enemies, thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. You know, speaking about that, the enemies will also come, Micah 7, verse 10. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is thy Lord, where is the Lord thy power? My eye shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. All these females who are not willing to humble down and play their part, you will be met, you know, by terminal nuclear fire as well, or by some other form of judgment. So to go back to verse 9, 20, uh, Psalm 21 and 9, Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. The Lord Yahweh shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy of the earth, thou fruit shall die, their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. No more devils, man. For they intended evil against thee. And it, it, you know, that evil goes in that uh, all the wickedness that they've been doing up to now, you know, don't forget the most high for the, uh, uh, one day for the most high. It's a thousand years for us, man. The Most High knows exactly, and even if it was a million, the Most High knows what happened, man. And he will avenge his people. They have imagined a mischievous device which they are not able to perform because when they are going to eat, when they are eating, the Most High is going to rain it upon him. You know, the missiles are going to be shut off. Let me go to that. I also... You know, Jeremiah is another thing. Let me go to Jeremiah 51 and 9. Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, in every father of Yahweh's hand, that made all the earth drunken. Everyone wanted to be like America and, uh, you know, follow after their filthy habits. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. They're totally bugging out. But Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. But she, she won't. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Get all the merchants who are going to go back to their own countries for a judgment reach it unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And therefore, the Most High uh, will destroy it. It has to be destroyed because it's a bad influence. That's one thing. It is ruled by wicked people. That's another thing. And it needs to make place for the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. This eon, this uh, world of Esau, is going to end. Thus said the Bible. Jacob held the, held the heel of Esau, you know, so we are up next. But, you know, you're going to go to uh, uh, many scriptures that concern this. Uh, let me go to Job, chapter 20, verse, uh, and also this, verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, 
and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so it's just a, a small time that these people are going to rule and they might be on top with all their uh technology all their knowledge you know he shall be wiser than daniel though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds you know that's uh, what i just said yet he shall perish forever like his own dung <laughs> They which have seen him and done his shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Just like a dream it will be gone. The eye which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. It's going to be a wrap for this devil, man. All the things... That they have gone, that they uh, um, have set up, will be ended, because there will be no more thing that will remind us uh, when the kingdom comes. They're gonna build up our kingdom. That's just it, you know. And these devils, uh, they had their time. They, 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 it's three strikes, man. They've been ruling. They've been ruling uh, as the Grecians. They've been ruling as the Romans. Now the Roman Empire revived again. And they've been causing trouble in the times of King David, man. Even went from the jump, man. Jacob and Esau, come on, man. They've been messing up. And that spirit of, of theirs, you know, is basically, you know, they, they are the, the wicked of the earth, man. That spirit of Cain hating his brother. So... His children shall seek to please the poor. Oh, we, oh, oh, BLM, we care about y'all. Why? Because their world is going down. Now there are uh, their own tongues falling upon themselves. Why? Because their white picket fence is getting shit stains on it. And now they're mad. Now they're uh, upset with the government. Oh, they're against us now too. It used to be these niggers only. But now, since it's coming to our way, you know, to our doorstep, now we have to stand with them because they already have a platform. So we can join on to them. You know, and, and be, you know, uh, going out for own. They're going out for their own uh, good, man. For their own, uh, they are opportunists. Because back in the days, they were out there lynching Jake, doing all types of things, castrating. Where was that energy then? Yeah, the few that liked Jake, of course, among them. You know, they're in, totally mesmerized by Jake, by the tools and all that. In, in carnal sense, <laughs> but uh, now you see a lot of these people speaking out because they they see their end, man. They see that the government is taking away their goods, their benefits, and all that, and now they want to talk. And his hands shall restore their goods. Uh, let me just jump down. I don't want to make it uh, too long. And all the riches that he had, he's, he's going to give it back. And this is going to be right for this damn devil, man. Um, let me go to 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. You're going to be in, 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 in problems, man. You think you got your NWO and all that, you know, figured out and ready to, you know, basically uh, complete it. You shall own you shall own nothing and be happy and all that type of rhetoric of Klaus Schwab and all these so-called elite families is going to be over with real quick. They sh they shall uh, build, but the Most High will will destroy, man. When he's about to fill his belly, shalakia, in the fullness of his sufficiency. So in the fullness of his sufficiency, let me slow down. He shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall be shall come upon him. So the wicked here goes into the one the laborers, man. You know the ones that suffered under this damn devil. So. Esau's going to be met with a lot of a lot of things, a lot of straits, a lot of problem, problems, man. So let me. So all the ones that have have been oppressed, you know, are going to get their hands on the damn devil. Thus said the Bible. So they're not going to be there forever, ruling over all the people and wickedness, because wickedness will not be. Uh, corruption will not inherit everlasting life. And the the devil, they are going to be taken out real soon, man. All the things that you're seen that you're seeing right now, you're going to see that 
all that is going to be out of here real soon, real quick, without any effort, man. The most I will get rid of them. So when he's about to fill his belly, Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he's eating. So the, 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 in the midst of their, uh, the finalization of his plans, of the, the plans of the NWO and all that, boom. It's going to be a wrap. The missiles, chariots will meet this damn devil, but the missiles that he created, <laughs> and the most I put the spirit upon him, because he created the smith that blowed the coals in the fire and created the waste to destroy, you know? So, Esau, the modern day smith, is that scientist that came up to the spirit of the Lord, you know? He allowed everything to be created to be a, a, a tool of destruction for, for the damn devil himself. You know, his own plans will be recompensed upon his own head. He shall flee from the iron weapon, you know, the, the ICBM missile, and the bow of steel shall strike him true. It is drawn and coming out of the body. Yeah, the glittering sword coming out of his gown. It's like the, the silos, you know, that's what's being described here. In the words of the, uh, 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 you know, uh, the scriptures here, man. Terrors are upon him. And if you take a look at what the, how the prophets used to describe uh, things, they needed to do it with things that they were familiar with. You know, the bow, you know, instead of uh, like a machine that shoots off the, uh, the missiles. You know, like horses in the sky. You know, because a horse, when it's running in the desert, it leaves dust. When a horse takes off, a few horses take off, they leave a, a trail of, of, of dust. And when the missile is being shot, you see the trail of the missile. You know? But basically, uh, with this, you know, you can see that the devil, he's going to meet his end. And we will be Yahweh the Zah of that number that are going to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and rule over our enemies. Because that is what's coming. So with that, I would like to say Shalom.